Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at some of our top stories tonight. A Genesee County man convicted of killing and torturing dogs is now behind bars. 55 year old Anthony Polite will spend the next five years behind bars. In December of 2018, police arrived at a home on East Jamison Road to find one dead dog and several others that were barely alive. The dogs were left outside with no food or water for nearly 90 days. Now they survived by eating mud, sticks and grass. A second dog died on the way to the animal shelter. Sheriff Swanson also announcing the arrest of a man who's accused of stealing from a holiday toy drive box. He stole hundreds of toys that have been donated for over 300 kids who have incarcerated parents. Many of those toys have been dropped off inside the sheriff's office's lobby. Now Swanson says over the weekend someone came and stole some of those toys. Video surveillance footage shows a 19 year old man packing a bag with toys from the box and leaving the building. Swanson says the man confessed and told officials that he thought they were free. He's been charged with larceny from a building, but his children will be given toys. The Huron County Sheriff's Office searching for thieves who took about $80,000 in light fixtures. Huron County Central Dispatch took the call just after noon today reporting the missing hardware. It happened at a work site of a new business and development south of Kindy on M53 in Lincoln Township. Workers say 100 fixtures were taken from storage containers. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Huron County Sheriff's Office. Now here's Chris with your forecast. David, dry conditions are expected for tonight. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler radar is all dry early this evening, but things are expected to change pretty quickly going into Thursday night. We have winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings now issued for the TV5 viewing area. Doesn't really matter which one your county is under. All of us are expecting the same thing with snow, wind and cold temperatures. Your hour by hour forecast shows a dry start to Thursday. will likely stay dry through at least the early parts of the afternoon. Eventually, though, getting close to dinner time, we start to see rain and snow. Snow gradually overspread the region, becoming all snow late Thursday night into early Friday. While there may be some breaks from time to time through Friday, snow is expected to be a consistent thing throughout the entire day. Eventually, by the time Saturday night or Friday night comes around into Saturday, it will start to become more scattered. Snowfall potential likely around four to eight inches in the TV5 viewing area, a little bit heavier off to the west as you get closer to places like Mount Pleasant, Alma, and Claire. We do expect the possibility of blowing and drifting snow, which will also make Make things very difficult uh, to get an accurate measurement. Forecast wind gusts between 35 and 45 miles per hour early Friday pick up to 45 and 55 miles per hour at their peak. A westerly wind will likely keep north and south roads especially vulnerable to snow blowing back into those roads even after they've been cleared. As for your wind chills, expecting those to be near and below zero by the time daybreak Friday comes around, and that won't be changing much as we go through the weekend. They're expected to be cold pretty much all weekend long. Your seven day forecast shows next week not much warmer. We get back to the low 30s by Wednesday, but until then, it's a lot of teens and a lot of low 20s with snow showers becoming a little less intense by Christmas Day. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.